how to install CrowdStrike. So this first part is optional, but it's very helpful for us as IT support personnel. You want to rename your laptop or your home computer that you're installing CrowdStrike on. That way when we see that your machine's in the console and maybe you get an infection or something, it'll have a more identifiable name instead of some random computer name like this right here. So you want to rename your computer to something like Steve COS Laptop. There's several ways to do this. Click on the Start menu. Click the Settings icon. Click on System. And then here at the bottom, click on About. And now you can go to Rename This PC. And right here you can type in a more identifiable name. And just follow the prompts. Now that we have renamed our laptop or home computer, we're going to uninstall Symantec Antivirus if you have it installed. So first just click on the Start menu, type Control Panel, click Control Panel, go to Category View, Small Icons, and then find Programs and Features, and we're going to scroll down and look for Symantec. If it's not in here, then it's already been uninstalled. But if you do have Symantec Endpoint Protection, you're going to right-click it and choose Uninstall. Okay, once it's completed, you want to go ahead and restart. And after you log back in, we will now download the CrowdStrike program and install it. So you're going to open up an internet browser. Google Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, doesn't matter. Just go to drive.google.com. Click on Go to Drive. Log in with your NetID or your Gmail account. Once you're in Google Drive, click on Shared with Me. Look for the CrowdStrike folder I've shared with you. Double click it. Right click on install code and choose download. And then right click on Windows Sensor and choose download. Make sure you know where it's saving it to. Most likely it'll be in the downloads folder. Once they have completed, click on the start menu, type file. Open File Explorer, click on the Downloads, double click the Install Code. You're going to have a different code than this. This is just a sample code, but you're going to highlight it and choose Copy. We will copy and paste this into the Windows Sensor install in just a minute. Now double click Windows Sensor, accept the license agreement, click Inside, and do control V and then click install. Once it's completed just click close and restart your computer.